Did you see us engineer these uh, hair wraps? Girl, we engineered the hell out of that. STEM Queens is a web-based series for young women of color, showing them successful, interesting, amazing black women who are killing the STEM game. Hello and welcome to STEM Queens. Today we have a great show for you. We have Miss Nancy Duyon, who is a human factors engineer. And hello, Miss Nancy, how are you? I'm really, really well. Thank you so much for inviting me. I am so excited to have you here. So Miss Nancy, where did you grow up and where do you live now? Well, I grew up in Boston by way of Haiti. So that means I lived in Boston. I also lived in the country of Haiti in the countryside. And I currently am living in Oakland, California. Do you consider yourself a country girl or a city girl or a mix? Ooh, I would say a mix. I'm definitely very city-like on the outside, but my soul is very country. Can you milk an animal? Let's, let, how country are you? My mother went to tell me to go get some milk from a cow and I came home without the milk and she asked me why and I said, I just, I don't want to see the cow that I'm getting the milk from. I guess I'm not that, that country, but I do, you know, grow my own food. I sprout my own wheat and make my own flour. So that level of country. I, I understand that. That is the reason why I don't cook. No, that's not the reason why I don't cook. <laughs> What's the, what's the signature Duyon dish? My rosemary curry turkey. To take a drink of water, because that just made my mouth water. Yeah. Because that sounds delicious. A rosemary curry. curry turkey. Currently reading something, it's called Our Kind of People. I didn't grow up privileged, but I'm surrounded by privileged communities of color that I just, I'm like, where do these people come from? Why are there so many? Detroit, Chicago, DC. And so I said, you know, let me pick up a book and learn about him. And so this, this is some good stuff for folks who think that black people have always been broke. Nah, we have a history. I mean, we're gonna get to know Nancy a little bit better with a segment we call Tapase with Nancy. Okay, clearly, I'm, I'm stretching. I'm, let me ask you, what, um, what is the last song that you listened to? Songs, but it was a song, a Spanish song with Sean Paul in it. I think it's called Two Padres. What is your favorite place that you have traveled to? Brazil. Brazil, I love them for their historical information. There are a lot of folks also don't know that Brazil is 50 to 60% black. We are going to move into our lightning round of Sac Pace mm -hmm. with Nancé. Rihanna or Beyonce? Riri. That was an easy one for me though. I know it's Riri. Soccer or football? Soccer. Megan the Stallion or Cardi B? Cardi Park. Oh, oh, oh. So what Cardi do you think about Up, the song? I love it. <laughs> I love it. I should be dancing to it now. So we are going to roll right on and talk about how you became STEM royalty. Are you a sovereign of science? Are you a tech sarina? Are you an engineering empress? Are you a marchness of math? What are you, dear? Um, I'm leaning to engineering empress. Okay. Sure. I, I got a, a really great opportunity when I was about 11 to do robotics, which was interesting. And so I did it for a summer. And I remember, you know, after they gave me my little certificate, I said, okay, now what do I do with this? And they, you know, I tried to break fans in my mother's house to like make things, but that wasn't going to work. And so I just started observing how people would do things in Haiti. It was interesting to me that people built roads and people built houses and I definitely have the mindset of an engineer. I'm a builder, I'm a creative. I want to um, learn about different things and make things better for people. And so I said, you know what? This is the world for me. And so despite the fact that I would hear certain things about like, oh, you can't be an engineer because you're this and that, I already knew I was. So what did you get your undergraduate degree in? My undergraduate degree was in information systems and in sociology. A lot of women, we want to connect to people, but we feel like, STEM doesn't connect to people. So can you talk a little bit more about how your engineering job connects to people? Yeah, sure. I, I should say, I didn't know engineering could connect to people when I first started. I remember I was basically a cybersecurity person when I was at Harvard when I was 18. Um, then I moved into application development uh, at MetLife Insurance. And I remember thinking to myself, oh my God, this is so boring. Um, a lot of folks don't know what human factors engineering is when they hear it, but it's really trying to understand people and trying to build things around them. I want to make sure that we're considerate of people who are different because the other thing is, here I am sitting in these classrooms learning things that are not taking into account things that I'm just like, 
Are you sure? So for example, it makes sense to me that if you're building a casino or designing a casino, you might paint the walls red so that you make the space alert. Um, but I'm also learning in the same breath in these classrooms that if you design a library or a museum properly, you design them so that they echo because when you hear yourself speak, you become self-conscious and you lower your voice. Now, that's all very interesting, but I remember that was the first tweak of like, but what if you're Haitian in a room that echoes? I don't know if a Haitian person would lower their voice. I love that you are talking about the science of culture and giving the people what they want, right? Give the people what they want. My parents had to make their way back to Haiti and uh, for various reasons, it just made better sense to keep me in the States. So I ended up in about eight foster homes. It was probably the worst experience of my life, going from culture to culture to culture in these different homes. I'm learning in some households, if you don't fold a towel a certain way, you may not get dinner. I was enamored to learn how people did things differently. So I turned kind of a experience that was very confusing into a career. Queen Kings, yes ma'am. Hiding your hair, you have on a lovely headscarf. You think it's a headscarf. It's actually a dress. I'm really good with limited things. So I mentioned at some point that I only own 30 articles of clothing. Huh? What? So she has been all over the world. She's a, a master traveler. You gotta get really creative when you're traveling with just a little bag everywhere. I don't carry giant suitcases everywhere in the world. Yep, so it's a dress that I wrapped into a scarf. I was not ready for that. I thought you were going to tie it up into a dress. <laughs> I, I love it. my bed with anything. Mm -hmm. Lovely braid. On the back. Thank you. So this is huge, as you can see. i got to try this. This is a dress I'm using. But you want to take the long part. Start it from the back. You could always start it from front, but I like to start it from the back to show folks. Okay. Put that okay. flat um, on the back of your head. Uh -huh. right. And then you take one end of it, tuck it uh -huh. under the other one, almost like use one side to wrap around the other skull. Tight on your forehead, like this. Yes, good stuff. And then what you're gonna do is, in your case, you're gonna try to make a ball. So like, you see how I just did that? Mm -hmm. Like a circle in the front, and you're just gonna keep trying to make it a circle. Okay. Kinda like that. Yep, there you go. Okay. Like I might like actually, I have a bangle that's flexible. Oh. I'll literally go inside if I feel like it and just kind of style it into. Oh girl, hold on, let me have, let me have my jewelry thing. Hold on. Hold on. But I tell you, when you look, when you feel it, I'm telling you, I walk down these Oakland streets. They're like, we could tell you got magic. Like, <laughs> no, you got. There we go. Yes. Ooh, look at them links, honey. It looks mm. good. If you had any advice for our budding sim queens. I guess my advice would be is like claim it already. No, no one could take the title away from me once I already knew. And people will try. All yeah. right. Well, thank you so much, Nancy. I have, girl, I have enjoyed this. You have gotten my life all the way together. I got a schedule. I got goals. I got a look. Girl, so thank you so much. Looking at a calendar before I look at my, you know, I meditate or I do my own affirmations, then that's problematic. That's anxiety for me. Do a little 10 minute meditation. And then I do something called mirror work where I write down seven things I'm proud of myself for, seven things I forgive myself for, and seven things I've committed to myself to do that day. And I do this as a daily regimen before I give myself to anybody else. Uh, then I go to the gym <laughs> or go workout. Girl, by the time I do all the stuff you just said, it's lunchtime.